What up, my name's Chow. Let's talk Life is Strange. This one's gonna be about William, and it's gonna be a little less theory and more of an analysis on imagery. There's a popular theory floating around that William's spirit animal could be the deer that's been associated with Max since the beginning of the game. I quite enjoy this theory. I don't think it's right or wrong, but there is a lot of evidence that could support it. The obvious clue is the snow globe above the fireplace, but less obvious are the similarities between Max and William. They both share an interest in analog photography, Chloe even gives Max the camera that William owned, and it's easy to see that Max picked up some of William's behavior during the time she spent with him during her childhood. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. However, there is something else that's interesting about William's connection to deer. Being a male, I think it's more fitting to think of William's spirit animal as a buck than a doe. And what I find fascinating about this is the fact that there's imagery in the Price Madsen household of a dead buck. A picture of David crouched over one he hunted, and the head of, I assume, that same buck hung in the garage. I might be drawing conclusions, but I think that these images provide a colorful commentary on the state of David's marriage to Joyce and David's relationship to Chloe. Joyce remarrying David can be considered conflicting of the love she still has for William. The photo of the dead buck can be metaphorical of David moving into the Price household and essentially taking over William's family. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. It's obvious from the photos of William that Joyce and Chloe keep that William's memory is still a strong presence within their home. If William really does have a connection to Deer, then the Buckhead stands as a physical representation of William's memory within the Price Madsen household. A memory that is there in that house always, but it's tucked away. Just a thought.